This is your first quiz. You're gonna put the clarinet together. You um, ready? You got a failure there. coming upon No, me. you got it. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I have confidence. Okay, start with this as you told me. Yeah. This is the next piece? No. It's the other one. Wait, yes, this is a bigger one, bigger one, right? Yeah. I knew it was one of them. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you remember what this the bigger piece first. is called? Yeah. The lower the limb or something. The lower. Lower joint. There lower you joint. There you go. Got the lower. Lower was in there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Got him in. Okay. Stress. <laughs> um. No. 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 This one next. Yeah. Wait, yes. That one next. Okay. What's that one called? The upper joint. There you go. <laughs> now which way? Do you oh wait. In? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, not again. It's all right. Okay, so um, it has to get to this, I think. Mm -hmm. Where's the thing that goes to that? Oh, it's this way, I think. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, there it is! Yay! Thank you're doing great. Right Thank you. I am proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, got him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, um, this is next. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that the right way? Yep, just, oh, yeah. just okay. put it on however. Cool. Okay, got him. Um, this one has to be lined up with this thing? Mm-hmm. Um, That's correct. Okay, so... You have to take the cap off. Oh, right, there sorry. So, um, should I just make a sound? Or is that somebody else? That's someone else. So scared. Wait, was I supposed to put the read on first? No. Okay. And that's Got actually facing the wrong way. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! No, it's okay. It's okay. You're doing great. So all you have to do is just twist the barrel, turn it around. There okay. you go. All right. Now, put the read on. Oh, no. You got it. Oh. <laughs> you can do it. I'm you're, doing, case. you're doing pretty well. I'm Thank impressed. you. I'm impressed you remembered the lower upper joint thing. I'm proud of you for that. Can we put the, uh, yes, I'll thank put you. the case in the ground? Right. Your earbuds are coming. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Um, so. Now, put the read on. Okay. I think you can do it. I think you can do it. Thank, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's some uh, good validation right there. Okay. Uh, you, I can't talk. This one I goes have confidence in this you. way. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Ah. Okay. Wrong way. Ah, no, don't move. The moves you can always just wiggle it around. Is this good enough for how low yeah, it is? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You're good. So, this, wait, which way? This way? Okay. And then... So, now... Now you're done! I'm done! But now, you take your yeah. part. So, wait. do the whole thing, but backwards. Just take your part. <laughs> you I made it. me build it! To then, unbuild it, yeah. to now rebuild it, and now undo. Yeah, I wanted to see if you could do it by yourself. So, you're gonna <laughs> take it apart. Okay. Here, I'll get the case again. <laughs> yeah. First, I showed you how to do it, and I want to see if you can do it by yourself. Okay, I'll, here's the read. I remember it's called the read. Mm hmm. It's good. Um. Okay, so now this part comes off. Mm -hmm. God, oh my if god. If it's easier for you, you can leave the ligature off while you take the mouthpiece. Okay, off. thank you. Oh my god. Okay, one. Wait, huh? Mute. Ow. Ow. You got it. This is a workout. It is. No wonder bang kids are buff. <laughs> Is that the word? I'm yeah. looking for buff, yes. Tone is the word you're looking for. Tone. Buff. Tone. Yeah. Buff and tone. Yeah. There she goes. Oh, I look interesting, but the hood <laughs> up is very fun. It's fine. Feels good. Alright. You're almost there. Okay, got him. Yeah, you did it. Alright. So, the next thing that you're gonna learn in this lesson. Reading music. Is that it? Yes. I will teach you how to read music. Ooh. Now all the music I have on me is my difficult music, but I can just take an easy portion and use that to show you how to read music. So, do I want to use this one? 
use that. I'm going to use this. Okay. I'm going to use this. Because it'll show you how to read music in the high and the low register. So, this is a piece that I'm playing, well, part of the piece that I'm playing for my teacher. What I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you how to read the notes. The first note that I learned on the clarinet was an E. Ready? Ready. That is an E. Ooh. Right there. And the way you remember what notes are on the lines or on the spaces are by little acronyms. So, the ones on the lines in treble clef, which is that little guy. I remember clef, that. Is E, G, B, D, F. And remember that is every good boy does fine. I thought you were going to say it goes to... <laughs> no. But the way we remember what's on the line is every good boy does fine. The notes in the spaces are F, A, C, E, which you just do face. It doesn't stand for anything. It's just face. So. It freaked me out. I thought somebody was on turn in the room. I was like, oh. Hmm. There's not very many notes in the middle on this one. I'm going to get another piece out. See if you can do the notes in the middle because that's mostly what I showed you. So, <sighs> okay. Well, you know it's funny. I did chorus mm -hmm. for all for many many years, and I still don't know any of this. So remember, every so the first line is going to be an E, which is the every. Second line is G, which is good. The middle line is B, which is boy. The fourth line is D, which is does. Yes. The final line is F. Which is fine. Every good boy does fine. Then the first space is F of face. The second space is A of face. The third space is C of face. The final space is E of face. So, can you, looking at these three notes right here, are you able to tell me? which notes they are um, using your acronyms um <laughs> which one's in let's go one at a time this first one using your acronym what note is that f what note is that um e and what note is that g there you go you Look made this you make go. so more sense than anybody in all my years of education, Lindsay. Really? Yes. That's, I'm happy. Okay. So next, we're going to do these four notes. Uh oh, Spudio. So, what is that note? Um, faces of spaces, right? Yeah. Okay, so F, A, C, E. Mm hmm. What is that note? D. What is that one? C. And what is that one? Boy, B. I'm so proud of Thank you. you. Oh, you're doing so great. Okay. Thank you. What's that note? Um. F. What's that note? A. You have identified every note on the staff. Yes. I'm proud. Now we're gonna try notes above. And below, uh -oh, spirit. <laughs> which is a little bit more difficult. Oh, I don't want to fail. Basically, all you do for those notes, like for example, that note. I'm just gonna tell you what it is. That one is a G, hmm. and you know that because you count one up from F. So every one you go up, you just add another letter, and it loops from A to G. So after G, it's A. So it's A B C D G, A B C D F G, A B C D F G over and over. Oh goodness. So, to identify notes that get real high up in there, we use these little lines. And these lines are called ledger lines. Hmm. And with ledger lines, the higher you go up, the more lines there will be. Hmm. For example, this is an A. It's the first note that we have It has ledger lines. And it has the line going through it. Mm. 
B, one note above that, has that same line, but the note is above the line instead of through it. Mm. So every time you go up, you add another ledger line. Gotcha. If we had a C, that would be on this line. I'm just gonna find a C in here. Yes. If we see if we have the C, we have the first line that the A was on, but we add the second line. Mm. And there's a little thing in there. And then for D, it goes above the line and so on until we get to an altissimo B flat, which is the worst note ever to play. Mm. But and going down, it's the same thing. Right below the staff, this one, is a D. Everyone below that, like up here, you add another ledger line. So it's C, B, A, G, F, etc. The lowest note you can play on clarinet is an E, which is, I don't think in this piece, but we have an F, which is close enough. So, the, the ones below are more difficult to read, which is why we have this one. Oh, yeah. So, using your acronyms and then counting down ledger lines, can you tell me what that note is? Is that A? Close. Wait, B? Mm hmm Oh. Because we would have... Oh, duh, we would have I knew that. D right below, C with the line through it, B with the line on top of it. Intriguing. There you go. So, can you tell me what that note is? C. See, I told you this is harder. Yeah, it's so much. Okay. So, we're going to count down from D. D has no ledger lines. C has that one. B has that one, but it's below it. A has that one. G is the one with the one below it. That's a G. Oof. And then you would count down to F with the third ledger line, and E, which is the one below the third ledger line. Yeah. Ledger lines are hard. They're mm. more difficult to show you how to play some notes. If you want to, you can actually play them, but because that reed was in my mouth, I can tell you probably don't want to, which is totally fine. If you do want to give it a try, I'll let you give it a try. If you want to give it a try, I'll teach you about embouchure, but if you don't, then I won't teach you about embouchure because you won't need to use it. About what? Embouchure, it's how your mouth has to sit in order to oh. play correctly. <laughs> so, if you don't want to play it, I won't teach you about that because you're not going to need it. And if you do want to play it, I'm going to teach you about it. I'm still kind of curious. So, do you want to play or not? I don't know. Do, you, do you want me to teach you about how to put your mouth even if you don't play it? Yeah. Fine. So, it's hard for me to do without I'm doing it. So you put your top teeth right about here mm -hmm. on your mouthpiece. And you write down, but not too hard because otherwise your teeth are going to hurt. Keep your chin as firm as you can. And you tuck your bottom lip kind of like, not so you're biting down on it, but so that it's over top of your teeth. Mm -hmm. And you play like that. Mm -hmm. You pull corners of your mouth in so like what I do is I smile her and then just push it down around the clarinet and you just go for it basically that's you really hot cross buns that's really the best way to explain it can I give you hot cross buns mm -hmm. okay let me teach you how to finger the notes for hot cross buns first and okay. then I'll play it for you okay. so you're going to learn how, because you're better at reading on the staff, I'm going to teach you G, F, and E. Okay. okay. So, what are you going to do? Or hand placement. Your right hand, your thumb anchors right there, and then your three fingers, your first finger is going to go there, there, and there. It's I gonna see you shouldn't yeah. have acrylic nails if you want to do this. Yeah, you really can't wear acrylics if you want to play clarinet. But you're not actually going to play it, so it's not that big of a problem. Then your pinky is going to rest on there, but don't push them down because they'll make different notes. So that's where your fingers are going to rest with your right hand. Okay. With your left hand, that thumb is going to go on that hole. Ooh! And then you're going to go 
one, two, three. And then your pinky just kind of chills there unless you need to use it. Wee, it's fancy. Yeah. That's how, you would, that's how you would finger a low G, but I'm going to show you how to do a middle G, which is just having none of the holes covered. So take all your fingers off. That's how you play a G. Really? Yeah. Hmm. That's the open note. It kind of sounds bad. It has kind of a bad tone quality, but it's also an easy note to play so you don't have to press any keys down. Mm, okay. So that is which note on here? Which note is G? Um, good. This one. That one's and wait, oh, wait, 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 no, do, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I know, I know. You think you think through the acronym. I can hear you. You're every, every good, every good. Yeah. Um, where is it? Um, uh, where, where am I going? Every good. There it is. Yeah, there you go. Ugh. That's see, I forgot the every. I yeah. forgot the every. That's how you play a G. You just play it open. Mm. F. You're gonna take your left thumb, stay on that hole. Right there. I have to, I have to remember on, yeah. uh, every time which one's left and right. Yeah. That's how you play an F. Just with your Just thumb. Just that? On. Yep. Huh. Just with your thumb on. Which note is F on the staff? This is me quizzing um, you and also teaching you how to do it. Which note is F on the staff? This one. There you go. Yes. That's an F. And then to play an E, keep your thumb on there and you put your index finger on the first hole Ooh. and that's how you play an e i'm just inventing these things like okay and which note on staff is an e an e mm -hmm. oh right um this one every yes good boy here wait let me see something yeah, that would sound weird. So, for playing hot cross buns, playing just a regular F would sound really weird. It doesn't sound correct. So, you need to put an accidental on the note. Ooh. Now, an accidental raises or lowers the pitch depending on which one you put on. So, for a flat, well, it looks like a little B. It's this thing. It looks like a little B. And what that does is it lowers the note. So say you're playing an E, which is this. You know how to play piano too? Yeah. I have two for class. So this is an E. If you... Oh, because you had to go to a music teacher, yeah. so you need to know. And if you play an E flat, it lowers the sound just by a half step, is what we call it. But I'll just say just by a little bit, because yeah. you don't know what a half step is. So. That's what that would be. And if you want to play a sharp, a sharp basically looks like a hashtag. That's a sharp right there. And the sharp raises the note by a half step or by a little bit. So if you're playing an F, we want to raise it a little bit. That's what the sharp does. So if I'm playing an F natural, which is this note, and I want to raise it up, I'm going to teach you how to finger an F sharp, which is putting, just putting your finger on the first key. That's it? Not, without your thumb. Hmm. Without your thumb. Take that. Great. So that's how you play an F sharp. So, in order for hot cross buns to sound correct on the clarinet, I need to play it with an F sharp. <laughs> it's like minor key, but like that's what it sounds like. So, to play G, which I showed you is open. This is what it sounds like. Now a G on this is different from a G on there because mm. of transposition, but that's really difficult. So you're not going to learn how to do that. So that's what a G sounds like. That's what an F natural sounds like. That's what your F sharp sounds like. And that's what your E sounds like. Playing, F, playing hot cross buns with G, F sharp, and E sounds kind of weird because it's in minor. So, I'm just going to cancel out because you have like 40 seconds left. I'm just going to play it because you probably want to hear it because it's funny. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play it on E, D, and C because it actually sounds correct. 
Just for fun. Sure. Alright, so what you're gonna do to play D. Thumb, put your pointer finger on the first key, and put your middle finger on the second key, which is this little opening right there. That's how you play a D. Hmm. Then to play a C, just put your third finger right there, and then you're playing a C. Hmm. So that's how you play hot cross buns. Hmm. And there you go. There's your half an hour clarinet. Yay! 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 Great teacher. Oh, thanks. And I know oh. how to read music. Because every good boy does fine. And face. <laughs> There's your earbuds that you accidentally oh, dropped. Should I try? Do you want to? Sure. Okay. What note do you want to play? An F. Okay. So, do you remember how to put two finger mm -hmm. and F? Okay. So, you're, F. you're just going to put your thumb on just the back, F. and that's it. Don't press that down because that'll make a different note. There you go. I'm okay. failing. It's okay. So, put it back in your mouth. Oh, I have to bite it. Yeah, bite, bite down on it a little bit. It's a little, it's a little closer. I could hear it. So, <laughs> put it back in your mouth. Tighten the corners of your lips. So, like, pull it. Here, I'm gonna put my mouth on it. Okay. Look at it. Look at it. See how my teeth don't show at all? You have to cover your teeth with your lips. So you put your bottom lip, you kind of curl it up like that. Uh. And you bite down with your top. Your teeth stay on there. Then you pull your lips in. So that they're around the clarinet. Uh. Okay. Do you want to give it another try? I'll try. I know. I'm a failure! It's okay, it's okay. Like I said, not everybody can actually play reed instruments. You're, you're putting air through it. I can hear the note wanting to come out. I did it! kind of out of tune, but you made a sound, so we're gonna take it. I'm just gonna try one more time. Okay, go for it. I have okay. Squidward do you tentacles. Want, do you want to play hot cross buns? <laughs> sure. Okay. Do you remember how to play an E? No. Okay. Thumb, first finger, right there. So you're gonna play an E? Play it. And you're gonna stick your next finger down to play a D. Keep that one on. Keep that finger on oh, there. Right. And then on there. there uh. And then play. And there you go. To play C, keep those on. Put your last finger down right there. And then C. Okay. So you might not be covering up the holes enough. That will be a problem because of your nails. No, just my fingers are really tiny and they're really hard to like cover. That's okay. Things. So tr try to see again. See if it'll see if it'll come out. There's the D. Now try to see again. There you go. Yay! Am I doing it? Yay! Yay! Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Look at You're your a girl. great teacher. I did it! Okay. I'm Squidward Squid. I mean Squidward Tent. <laughs> Squidward tentacles, mic drop. Even though I'm not going to drop this, it's four thousand dollars. I'm not dropping it. Okay, so that'll be the end of our lesson. I'm proud of you. Because, Thank you for teaching me. Oh my gosh, it was actually really fun. It was so fun. <laughs> and I feel honored. I've always wanted to be able to play an instrument. Now you can. Yay! And now you can read. Did it. Now you can read music. Pop quiz. What's that note? C. There you go. Woo! Look at you go. I'm gonna take a, the music industry's canceled over here now. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna video me. <laughs> okay. I believe in you.